Well, that weather, weather wasn't enough to stop the fun in Hannibal today. Chocolate lovers from all over the tri-states are hitting the town this weekend for shopping and treats at the chocolate extravaganza. Local businesses say this year's event is busier than usual. WGEM's Claire Edlund has more on why and how more visitors are giving the city an extra boost. What we've done is we've melted a half a cup of butter, or actually margarine, but you can use either one. Mississippi Marketplace's owner, Linda Studer, is giving shoppers a tutorial and free samples on how to make her famous chocolate gravy. This sugar and cocoa, that's all it is. So we're going to kind of stir that in. Hannibal's Chocolate Extravaganza is a weekend-long event for shoppers to sample treats at the dozens of participating businesses. I think people are ready for something to do. They're ready to come out and they're ready... They're ready for spring. Studer says each year, the weekend brings hundreds into her store, <laughs> making up for one of the slowest points of the year. Even so, Studer says revenue has been up this year compared to last, with good weather and lower gas prices on her side. There are more people out and there are more people spending money and there are just more people that are ready to shop in stores. Organizers say money from the weekend goes directly back to the merchants and other ways to help Hannibal. And then a portion of it goes to the HHMC, which goes into supporting a lot of the other festivals downtown as well as uh, the downtown area beautification. Chocolate Extravaganza's organizer Megan Gary says looking ahead of 2023, she expects a good year for revenue as Hannibal kicks off future events like Twain on Main and Girlfriend Getaway. And certainly better than last year um, here at the Mark Twain Museum where I work. Our, I know our numbers are up so far and that seems to be across the board with everybody I've talked to. Gary says she expects this weekend to break more than 1,000 attendance. Claire Edlund to WGEM News, Hannibal. Claire, thank you. If you missed out on today's activities, don't worry. The event continues tomorrow in downtown Hannibal from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m.